everybody and happy Thursday. For today's story, I have The Thingity Jig. It is written by Kathleen Doherty and it's published by Peachtree. And we wanna thank them for allowing us to read this book to you today. So let's find out what a thingity jig is. Are you ready? All right, when we get started, it looks like we have a floor scene, doesn't it? Isn't that cool? The thingity jig. One night, under the light of a silvery moon, all of Bear's friends were deep asleep. But Bear wasn't sleepy. He wanted to play. So he wandered off to find some fun in People Town. Oh boy. And we just read a book about the moon on Tuesday. Read all about the moon keeper. Tap, poke, sniff. Bear nosed around until he found a thingity jig. And isn't that a cool moon? Hmm. What's a thingity jig? It looked friendly. Bear plopped down on its lap. Bingity, bing, boing. The thingity jig was a springy thing. A bouncy thing. A sit on it, hop on it, jump on it thing. Barry, bear hurried home to tell his friends. Do you know what this is? Are you going to guess? All right. Wake up! Wake up! I found something fun. A bouncy, springy thingity jig. Rabbit opened one eye. Really? This thingity jig will be sit on it, hop on it, jump on it, fun, said Bear, and I need help bringing it home. Not now, Bear, Fox yawned. We're sleeping. Wait till morning, grumbled Raccoon, but Bear wasn't sleepy. He wanted to play, so he took matters into his own paws. What would you do if your friend woke you up in the middle of the night and wanted to drag something home? Would you do it? He'd bring the thingity jig home all by himself. But how? It was too heavy to carry, too hard to push, but not too big to roll. Smack, wallop, whack. Under the light of a silvery moon, Bear went to work. He clinked and clanked until he built, until he built, a rolly rumpity. It was a draggy thing, a pulley thing, a pack it up, heap it up, load it up thing. It was just, it was just what Bear needed to wheel home the thingity jig. But Bear found it impossible to lift the thingity jig onto the roll rumpity. He dashed home. Wake up, wake up. I need your help. Then we'll climb and jump. Jump, rabbit wiggled her nose. I like to climb. Fox rubbed his eyes. But right now I need to sleep. Raccoon groaned. Rest first, jump later. But Bear wasn't sleepy. He wanted to play. So, smack, wallop, whack. Under the light of a silvery moon, Bear fiddled and whittled until he had built a lifty uppity. It was a boosty thing, a hoisty thing, a pick it up, raise it up, jack it up thing. Isn't that cool? Bear is very creative. Bear managed to haul the thingity jig and the rolly rumpity. <gasps> Yippee doo! Things were working out. But on his way back, Bear took the zigzag way and the roll rumpity got stuck in the mud. Uh oh. Bear ran home. Wake up, wake up, Bear shouted. I need your help. Then we'll bounce and hop. I like to hop. Rabbit flicked her ears. Maybe when the sun comes up, Fox leaned back and stretched. Go away, bear, griped Raccoon. These friends are not very happy to be, keep getting woken up, are they? Ben would be super grouchy too. Bear had to play. Nothing could get in his way. He wanted that thingity jig and he wanted it now. So smack wallop whack. Under the light of the silvery moon, Bear thunked and thwacked to build. What do we have this time? What do you think he has? A pushy poppity. It was quite the contraption. 
Bear used the pushy poppity to lift the thing, lifty uppity that raised the rolly rumpity that wheeled the thingity jig all the way home. Could you think of all this stuff? At daybreak, Bear flumped the thingity jig down with a loud thump. His friends sat up with a start. They stared at the thingity jig and it stared back. This is a thingity jig, said Bear. You can bounce and hop and leap and climb. You can even do a flip flop, springy ding flop. Have we figured out what this is yet? Do you know what this is? His friends jumped to their feet. Whoopee, they cried. Let's bounce and hop, said Rabbit. And leap and climb, said Fox. And springy ding flop, said Raccoon. Springy, spring, wee! Bear clapped and cheered. My turn. We need more time, begged Rabbit. Bear waited and watched. He shifted from one foot to the other. Just a little longer, said Fox. Bear let out a, la a big huff. <sighs> They're having a lot of fun, aren't they? It's my turn. Okay, okay, said Raccoon. We'll get off. Thank you, said Bear. And he flopped down on the thingity jig. Bingity, bing, boing. He did all that work. He really did want to have a turn, didn't he? Under the light of the golden sun, Bear curled up in the arm of the thingity jig. Snorty snore. Zzz. All right. Did you guess this was a sofa? If you did, you were correct. Did that look like fun? It did, but maybe you don't want to try this at home. Don't do that on your mom's sofa. The end. And here we have all the animals having some fun. The end. I would love to know what you think about this story. So please let us know on our Instagram page. And if you've ever come up with some really cool kind of invention or contraption, share those pictures with me as well. I will be back next week with two brand new stories and it will actually be the beginning of June. So, and the library will be closed on Monday. So I hope you have a great, nice long weekend and I'll see you back here on Tuesday. Bye for now.